Uh, STSM is Short Term Scientific Mission, and this is a great initiative that gives possibility a lot of possibilities to visit different countries, different laboratories in different countries, and that allows, peop allows people to learn new skills, new techniques. Every team at a participant can take part in this initiative. And there is only one condition, and this person has to be engaged in a scientific research program and have affiliation to some kind of institution, for instance, university. My short-term scientific mission uh, is a, a multidisciplinary uh, uh, approach to diagnosis and treat uh, tinnitus patients and subtypes uh, tinnitus patients. I applied for having a short-time scientific mission in Nottingham. Uh, the subject of this mission was uh, systematic reviews. Uh, it was an excellent opportunity to work together with Deborah Hall. Uh, she has a very good and rigorous quality uh, demandings on uh, research. The most fulfilling aspects of the STSM was the opportunity to observe and participate in everyday clinical management of tinnitus patients so that you can find little details which are more important and it's, it's not able to, to allocate them via literature. So it, these little details can be uh, copied pasted in, uh, in other clinical centers easily. I was um, for uh, STSM in Nottingham. Um, Deborah Hall was a host and it was a really impressive uh, week for me. I visited the clinic. Um, I had a chance to work uh, with one of the great specialists. And that was amazing, you know, to see how, do, how does he think, how does he, how does he work. I have learned a lot. Um, and not only I had this possibility to learn and to see how does it look like, you know, for someone who has already succeeded um, in science and this field, it was also great for me because I had the possibility to see a lot, to get to know French culture and to get to know a lot of interesting people. For me it was enrichment in the field of tinnitus and the appropriate way of doing research. I think that uh, the most fulfilling uh, aspect of the short term scientific mission uh, is uh, the opportunity to share uh, clinical uh, experiences with uh, uh, different uh, clinicals uh, of different uh, countries and uh, uh, also different professionals. So for me it's possible to share my experience with uh, other ENT specialists, with psychologists, and uh, to share our experience, to discuss together uh, clinical cases, uh, atypical clinical cases, and uh, uh, also we organize uh, a meeting at the end of the short term scientific mission with other colleagues. The most fulfilling maybe was uh, the work. We are working in a, in a review for tinnitus, uh, but another in, interesting aspect was uh, the working in another research uh, in another research team. How they connect, how they com communicate, it was uh, very interesting for me. We decided in the team that one or maybe two members uh, of our team started an STM uh, because uh, we hoped, and uh, this hope was uh, successful, um, to, to uh, profit of the change uh, with other teams and with other researchers. Uh, we have a lot of benefit. Uh, we have a lot of scientific uh, contact after this uh, STM and we have uh, uh, directly benefit with uh, two or three reviews uh, resulting from the STMs. Uh, the benefits uh, is the uh, opportunity, the big opportunity, a very important opportunity to start uh, multicentric studies and this is possible with the Costinet project with other uh, European colleagues. The main benefit of the STSM was to clarify uh, things what, that are important for team management, which we know from the literature, but it's, it's uh, even better if you see the actual 
uh, assessment and application and implementation. So this is something that we could uh, transfer to our uh, center as well. Uh, I am also a STSM coordinator and that's why I was kind of familiar with uh, this idea of STSM. I think it's a great idea, it's really great, great opportunity. So I can say that if you have an interesting idea, um, TNET, um, TNET prepared special budget for STSM. So it's kind of easy. If you have this idea, you know what you'd like to do and you would like to visit another country, another laboratory. And what you have to do is simply apply and there is a big chance that you will succeed.